Okay, folks, very quickly how to do completing the square. What you need to do is take a quadratic, something like that, a trinomial, which is something like this, x squared plus 8x plus 19. And you want it written in a different form. You want it as a square bracket, which is x plus a squared plus something else, let's say b. Now, a and b are numbers. What you do is you half this, so it's... 8 divided by 2, half that coefficient of x. If you do that, you get 4. That number goes straight in there, so it's going to be x plus 4 squared plus something. Now, this bit here, this b, you have to work out how far you need to go from 4 squared, and you get 4 squared by doing 4 squared. You want to link that to that number 19. So if you work out 4 squared, 4 squared is 16. How you get from 16 up to 19, it's how you do it, not what number you use. It's how you do it, and it's plus 3. So that plus b, the whole thing, is replaced with this process. So what you'll get is x plus 4 all squared plus that's how it's written. Let's do another example. x squared plus 14x plus 57. Now, you want it written like this. x plus a squared plus b. This bit here, the x plus a squared plus b, will be given to you. That's the template they're going to use in the question. So you will have that information in the question. You just have to work out a and b plus b. What you'll do is do 14 divided by 2, which is 7. That number goes in there, so it's going to be x plus 7 squared, and then something else. We'll leave that blank. What we need to do is square 7, 7 squared, which is 49. Now we need to work out how we get to that number in the question of 57. Well, we add 8. If we add 8, at this stage, to get to 57, we add 8 at this stage. So this is going to be plus 8. There's no difference if you have something like this, x squared minus 10x plus 27. You're doing exactly the same. You're halving this, so it's not like negative 10 divided by 2 gives you negative 5. Now, obviously, you'll get given the template to use x plus a squared plus b. So the minus 5 here goes in in place of plus a. So that will be x minus 5 in the brackets squared, and then something else. But what you need to do is minus 5 squared. Now, a minus times a minus is a plus. Anything you square will be positive. How to get from 25 to 27, you add 2. So that is the answer. x minus 5, all squared, plus 2. Let's have a go at this one. x squared minus 16x plus 51. Now, minus 16 divided by 2 is minus 8. Let's make sure we've got it written down. x plus a all squared plus b. Now, minus 8 squared is minus 8 times minus 8, which is 64. Now, this one's slightly different. From 64 all the way back to 51, you'll take away 13. So it's going to be x minus 8, because that's the number we had in the first place. This one here, half of the x coefficient squared minus 13. And there are four examples for you to have a look through. Right, here's some questions for you to try. Pause the video. 
have a go at these and then I'll give you the answers in a few seconds. Okay, answers as follows. First one is x plus 5 in brackets squared because half of that, half of that 10 is 5. So 5 squared is 25. We've got 28, so we add 3 to it. Likewise, half of 6 is 3, so it's x plus 3 in brackets. 3 squared is 9. We've got 14, so we add 5. Next one, half of 12 is 6, 6 squared is 36, we've got 33, so we have to take away 3. Next one, now this one is half of minus 2 is minus 1, but minus 1 squared is still 1, it's always going to be positive if you square a number. We've got 5 in the question got one already in the bracket, so we add 4. And the last one, half of minus 18 is minus 9. Minus 9 squared is 81, but we've only got 50, so we have to take away 31 to get to the answer. And there we are. Check how you've got on with these five.